Well, hello everybody. Um, I've got to work it out in my head, it's a bit convoluted. The video you see now was done after the event, and the reason it was done after the event is because before the event, I didn't know where I could do the video. Hope that makes sense. But I've done the video because I found out that I could, it was possible. So now I'm preparing the before the event video to introduce you to the video. Does that make any sense? Because it's not making sense to me. You know what I mean anyway. This is the bit before the video that I didn't know that I could record. But now I do know I recorded it. We can record it because I've recorded it. Anyway, watch the video and enjoy it. And I'll speak to you in a bit.
outside now. So that was our visit, Chris Tingle visit, to St Albans Cathedral. And very, very nice it was too. Very enjoyable. Proper Christmassy weekend this weekend. Where are the kids? Obviously embarrassed to be seen with their dad. Oh, here they go. Probably off to the toilet. Who knows? Right, let's uh, get in the warmth. Look how beautiful this building is. It's stunning. It's over a thousand years of worship in this. Beautiful. Gorgeous cathedral. Did you enjoy that, Hazel? Yeah. Yes. Fox is dressed up like the traditional uh, Christmas dinosaur. Willow is dressed like um, Rod Stewart fan club. It's like she's doing a, an impression of Rod Stewart with a leopard skin trouser things on. Just beautiful. Look at that tree. Gorgeous. Right, so we've just I've just done a whole 10 minute spiel on the video about leaving the cathedral and then worked out that I'd pressed the bloody photo rather than twice. And initially I've had to get rid of a bit because I pressed the slow-mo. I've got dodgy eyes and fat thing fat thumbs, and they're not a good combination when you're dealing with this kind of minuscule amount of techno or minuscule technology. So I just gotta put the wind down now clearly. So now that you're in the dark, I can't even see you now. It was light when we left. It was. That's because we went randomly into a car park that we didn't need to be in at all. So we were saying, yes, even though we kind of enjoyed it, it, it was very clinical. A bit cold, wasn't it, Hazel? <laughs> yeah, I did. And there wasn't really that much about it, was there? No. It, didn't, it didn't feel very Christmassy. It felt anything Normally, but Christmassy, yeah. The service makes me feel really festive. Yes. And it's, it's the, it's the, it's Sorry, the first it's dark, guys. Yes. So I actually feel festive. Let me just put a little bit of light on no. for it. Only one of mine for a minute. Hang on, if, if I can. Um, right, that's made. That's not helped at all. Yeah, and it's the, it's but, the yeah. first time in a year that I feel like it's Christmassy. Yeah. But it wasn't at all. No, it was anything it but wasn't Christmas, wasn't it? Really, it was yeah. very, as we say, it was cold and clinical, and yeah, you weren't allowed to sing. Very obviously, for obvious reasons, it was um, people were separated. So, and people this year had to book um, like they do most things this year because obviously. They were limited on numbers, yeah, and we only we got into the skin of our teeth really because well, it was only because I rang them up to see. Well, hang on, let me let me do the story. Them. Hazel oh, sorry, told sorry. me a couple of weeks prior that the tickets were coming on sale, and of course, normally I never thought about tickets. So well, no, Hazel fair, said they're coming on sale. They weren't on sale; they were free tickets, but you had to. Sorry, book I beg advance. your pardon. Free tickets, but you had to book yes, them in advance. They so on sale. they weren't. Um, and so anyway, a couple of weeks went by. It was the Monday Monday morning, was yeah, it? It was Monday this week, yeah. Monday th this week, just yeah. this week, just gone sort they of thing. They were at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Well, about... when it's past 10, I remembered. Yep. Yeah. And they'd already gone. They had completely gone, hadn't they? they? all gone. So Hazel phoned them up on the off chance and said, look, if anybody cancels, can we please, you know, grab a few tickets? And the lady was very nice. She got back to us literally within a within the hour, yeah, it was wasn't it? Quick, wasn't it, yeah. If that, really, <laughs> half an hour. Yeah. And she's like, got four tickets if you want them. And yes, please, thank you very much. But then looking at that today, I mean, irrespective of the social distancing, it was empty anyway, wasn't yeah, it? it was I just think people hadn't turned up and there were people that had left more or less straight away. But as Hazel said, that maybe they'd got relocated to the centre because that was empty as well. It was a much better view from the middle. From it the was. Side. We were at the side to we begin with. As, I don't know if I didn't video any of that, but we were at the side, so you couldn't really <laughs> see anything. So there wouldn't have been much purpose to videoing. But once we got in the centre aisle, we were at the back but we could still video stuff and you, you get a lot of that. It was very pretty. Mm. But yeah, so I'm hoping that things change next year because I, I don't think this is much of a way to live your life really. Um, everybody's got their own feelings and beliefs regarding this virus and I've certainly got mine and I respect anybody's opinions. You know, not to say that my opinion's any more valid than anybody else's, but I do have my own and they might kind of contravene what most people think. And I'm not even a conspiracist. Um, as I've said various times, I might be a ghost hunter, but I'm not a conspiracist. I don't go ahead going for all that. But yeah, sometimes you can't deny facts. Well, what look like facts and certainly seem to come true. But anyway, let's not get into that. The fact is, it was, a, it was quite a nice afternoon. Nothing spectacular, nothing fantastic. I feel a little bit more Christmassy, even though it wasn't that Christmassy, was it really? Um, but that's it really we so decorations we bought some decorations we wanted to buy some decorations from the cathedral 
just because we wanted a couple of decorations from the cathedral. I picked a couple of angels. Hazel wanted a pick, so I don't know, some gearish skateboard or something. <laughs> it, was a, it wasn't a stick, it was a peacock. <laughs> some pe what, what, I don't, can you tell me how peacocks relate to Christmas? I don't know, it was a Christmas peacock. I don't know of any peacocks that it, feature it in any hymns. Filigree Christmas peacock. Right? Hang on, hang on. <clears throat> One gold on filigree Christmas peacock. There we go. Then. Don't remember that in the I'm 10 days. Is it 10 days of Christmas or 12 days. 12 days? Of course, it's 12 days of Christmas. So, yeah, and a, and a, yeah, and a pedigree. Uh, what, a, what are they called? Peacock, peacock, peacock in a pear tree. Peacock. Yeah. 12 peacocks drumming, seven peacocks leaping. Oh, no, they don't. That's what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. Of course, they're fighting. Of course, they're fighting. Anyway, so um, <laughs> believe it or not, I used to be a chorister when I was a kid. Um, very, very well-known choir. I was one of the Kingsmead singers. I don't know if you want to look them up, but um, they were professional. We were professional choristers. Um, no, you've never heard of them. They are well-known. Kings. It was kind of they were they were professional. Kingsmead. Did a lot of recording Kings. for the BBC. Not me personally, but the choir that I was with, and uh, we did a lot of um, sort of church and cathedral singing but yeah and then I grew up into this so maybe a disappointment I think but yeah so anyway it was okay thanks very much for joining and watching we're going to say goodbye now do you want to say goodbye kids can't really see you in the back Bye. fox is tucked away in the shadows like some sort of murderer uh, willow's tucked away in the shadows like oh there you go bye. charming bye bye little hands here say bye bye hazel Bye guys, see you in the next one. Bye.